We're Jordan and Emily, a couple who is on the mission to see as much of the world as possible before our savings run out. We've spent the last few weeks road tripping Romania, and yesterday we drove the most beautiful highway in the world. After finishing the Transvargation, we made our way to Sibiu, where we only had one quick night. But today is the beginning of our last adventure in Romania, and boy did we save the best till last. This morning we are checking out of our accommodation in Sibiu to drive two hours west and check into a Mongolian yurt. Before we get there, we need to pick up a few things first. Thank you. Way too much food given we're only going to be there for one night. We've got some appetizers, some main course and some red wine. Now just one more hour and we'll be in our tiny home for the night. Apicini Mountains, no longer on any sort of paved road. It's just dirt, rocks and gravel. We are surrounded by the forest, have passed some really cute towns and some cows. <laughs> I cannot believe how deep in the wilderness this yurt is. I'm so excited. glad I'm not driving. <laughs> really putting this rental car through the ringer. <laughs> yeah. It's brand new as well. Now after this. <laughs> Camping. Your destination is on the right. We made it and it is secluded. Welcome to our tiny home for the night. We've just settled in after meeting the beautiful owner and they let us know that they wanted to create this place to help people reconnect with nature while still having all of the luxuries of modern life. And you can really tell that by all of the little details that they've just nailed. It is essentially one giant room and at only 35 meters squared, you still have everything you would need. This is the kitchen. It is such a surprisingly spacious kitchen considering where we are. I mean, we're in the middle of the Romanian mountainside and we have running water, hot and cold. There's a cooktop, pots, pans, cutlery, cups, coffee supplies. There is one thing that I'm in denial about. That is the food bucket. We are in bear country, so we need to lock away the food so that they can't smell it. Because we're in a curtain. There's no protection. In the middle of the beautiful yurt, there is this amazing old school fireplace, which I think it's gonna to be too hot to light. However, there is a thunderstorm rolling in, so maybe we'll get lucky. Over here is the dining room workspace area. You can play board games here. Another really nice feature, they've left us some homemade cherry alcohol. Oh my God, <laughs> that's strong. There is another seating area over here. I feel like this is more of the lounge room area. You can enjoy a glass of red wine, read your book, get all cozy with the blankets. 
but if you really want to get cozy, you come over to the bedroom. <laughs> wow. It is this big, beautiful double bed that feels like a cloud. This mattress is insane. Nice clean linens. One thing I love about this bed is from this position in the middle of the yurt, there is a window directly above you. So at the moment we just see clouds, but I can imagine at nighttime you just look up to the stars. We also have some towels here. So you may be wondering, where's the bathroom if it's just one room? We've saved the best till last. Outdoor shower. Somehow in the middle of the Romanian countryside we have instant hot water. We also have a toilet on this side which is a sawdust toilet so you do your business and then put a bit of sawdust on it and you're good. I feel like having a shower outside is such a romantic idea. You get this amazing view while showering. Bit high risk to leave the door open but I might do it. See how we go. Also outside we have a couple of different seating options. There's a bench seat. Outdoor dining area. <laughs> An outdoor lounging area. There's also one very important thing. I'm spinning around. <laughs> There's also one special thing that wasn't on the listing and isn't included in the yurt, but I love. This is Julia, the little sweet puppy who's apparently going to spend the night hanging out by the yurt with us. Oh, buddy. Maybe inside the yurt. <laughs> what happens if it rains and that window's open? We get wet. Oh, no. It is crazy that we're back in the Abyssinia Mountains. Literally nothing around us but trees and thunder. Not worried about bears. Don't know if I should be. I am, as if we have to have a bucket to hide our food in. Mm. This is so beautiful though, we are just surrounded by green trees, no one to be seen. Such a nice way to end the Romanian road trip. Let's cook some dinner. Okay. I'm sure you can hear that. I think the thunderstorm is officially here to stay. Honestly, I feel genuinely upset that we can't let the dog in. Oh, she's run off. Okay, she's, she's found shelter. Appetizers are served. We've got some meats and cheeses. The thunder is rolling in thick and fast now, so my red wine is going down very nicely. <laughs> but it smells amazing. The thunderstorms have cleared away. We have a little friend back that apparently isn't allowed in the yurt, but... And now I wouldn't say it's cold, but it is a little bit chillier than it was today. So... dinner, played some chess, played some poker, got the fire going. Such a nice night. What a way to finish Romania.
without trying the shower. It's pretty nice. Mountain views. It is incredible how instantly hot this shower is and we are literally in the mountain wilderness in Romania. Top five coolest things I've ever done.